Okay, so what do we got here? We got acoustic cooling uh, with manipulation of heat and sound. So use what we know from astrology about sound making heat. I'm sure it'll be important. Um, let's bring up just natural thermal dynamics of the stone mill. That things pass in heat, light, and sound. Observationally light make it a sound because of gravity. Uh, it's going to be based off of this. Uh, this whole thing that he's about to get into is going to be earth weather. <laughs> Kinda of, sorta of later, we'll get into all that here in a minute. Hi everyone, this video is part two of my series on thermoacoustics. It's ready, got in the car, in got one, up. We got covered the basics there. of how heat can be used to produce sound, and then how sound can be harnessed and converted into mechanical motion in the form of a thermoacoustic engine. Mew, mew. In this video, I will reverse the process. Instead of using heat to make sound, we will use sound. It's a breadboard. This is a breadboard. It's just not engineered patent designed to the, the Trident or the Hillbilly Spinner, right? And you just have it all wires, different lengths, uh, different colors at this point in time. You know. You know. It makes you work. But like I said, I knew the heat sound thing was like this. Well, here, they get up in the morning because it's hot. And then they start making fucking noise and it cools everything down. Kelvin. Everybody turned blue. The vector tensor. Sound to manipulate heat. One practical application for this knowledge, which we will explore, is thermoacoustic refrigeration, a process by which a finely tuned acoustic wave can extract energy from one place and concentrate it somewhere else. Well, I got into it because I wanted to see if I could cut rock with it, you know, like do what the Egyptians did there and melt stone or something with sound waves. Oh, the resistance, that's all. It will help us to understand how this concept of manipulating heat with sound is possible if we first take a closer Autonomous. look at a sound wave. Uh, what is it neat? I have this tube connected to a speaker at one end with a handful of styrofoam beads on the inside. This Using is a tone mill. generator, I can feed the speaker a signal I can turn and speak through the frequencies <laughs> until I find one that matches the Nerr. tube's natural acoustic resonance. Watch what happens to the yeah, AVE was doing one here. with chewing on carbon steel railroad ties. The when they get lined up like this, I know particle. What if, what if Carl Sagan was in here and tube. like when Newtonian mechanic? AVE, what are you doing? In a lump you didn't see it. X ray vision, if we were infrared. To come on. Shape of this come sound on. Wave with two lines. Get them lined up here. Like sound. This. A in, in geometry, like it'll scale. This number will work to impl in implement the where the where freaks, uh, zeros and ones are peaks for high probability in that position for on AU. Side, so I use sound, I would use light, I would use IH. The smallest the increment is right here for right this type of test to hit AU for marginal utilitarianism on that geodesics. This so this makes it easier than just watching a tube with these exactly acting to gravity. It, it uh, changes the density, the dark matter, it acts it to, to do a result without acting on matter. On just but air molecules in exactly itself. Well, other air molecules have an effect FMA. Why is it that the styrofoam they're in an area where so a field of that thing is housed to an approximation the before wave. the w ripples to on the pond kind of get in there. Here wave, it's a vacuum chamber, a derivative over derivative T. As a sound wave approaches a node, That's any line. That is any line. Kind of like a rubber ball hitting the ground. Uh, spin uh, for Lucheski and part G. You know, yeah. As it moves freely through well, space, these are good conceptual models. Like We're running parallel that they do, that this does. He just may not be using like this because he's quantifying it as sound. Instead of the entire approximation of where this could resonate, and I need it to be there instead of the high point. Uh, internal containment of the hydron collider, this being Higgs. See him? See him? He's vibrating right there. Wobbles. Uh, you get into Feynman diagrams, right? Well, what if there was a little thing here and that actually cut down like that and this one runs straight and that's what makes this do this on an EM or the way that they negative, hot, cold. Which gives us what is called the first harmonic note of this. Baryonic harmonics, really. Now we get an extra note in the center. 
wave stock. And it's like, this is physics. This is just what that is on a different IH sound. Mm. Ooh. Ding. It didn't work, guys. We were shooting it down the hydronic glider and it hit this guy in the head over here. For thermoacoustics, the fundamental frequency is typically the most useful to experiment with. But these are fun to look at. You might notice that well, that when you think of strip tiers, uh, silver cell, and they're picking up crystals on a uh, stainless steel container, this is what they're doing, essentially. They're packing up together, they're getting a charge, they're finding a point, it's going to hit the high one, it's going to start making those. This has enough of them over there, because these ones are just closer to that one. They're a little bit closer to this one. And the, and in there, you'd have an electrolyte, silver electrolyte, no that would say, a U, a this, compositions change, that wave, that sound that you don't see, is uh, impurity. It's, uh, it's a housing internal thing for internal lattice structure with magnetic gases and fission, the new fission, not, not fusion with big waste products there. By controlling the waste product and enriching the heat or you know, like oil, burning engines that are super pure when like they do with the other you know uh, high pressure in an in density you know if we you go down inches it will square a law to a mouse down a mine shaft this and a horse down a mine shaft turn into a kinetic problem side, which becomes flat when I push the mouse fine okay. this causes the air to increase in temperature so much that it can actually ignite a small piece of cotton. Some of you might know that a diesel engine Time on also top of the mountain, time under the Marianne Trench, right, buddy? It looks like you've been there. Spark, but instead spontaneously ignites from the increase in temperature as the piston compresses the air in the cylinder. The amount of compression... Well, there's a few bits about black magic happening in there. It has to do with, like, uh, powder or sawdust in the stone mill as well. You know, uh, so when it gets there, it a spark can go off. So if it's uh, movement and that has a charge and that charge moves in relationship to a thing can also create a spark and that might be a small factor in which the pressure works as much as the uh, fractals of the uh, the mandrel fractals there. This is engineering. Thermoacoustic refrigerators, which we are now prepared to learn about. Don't kill anybody you need, buddy. First, a quick pause. Oh, no, I'll, I'll come on. Mel Science supplies excellent chemistry sets, physics experiments, and other educational projects which allow you to explore science hands on in your own did, home. Did you put it Mel in a petri dish? <laughs> then, how do you know the Pfizer is really right? It's all the basics. Then each experiment well, that's what you got to do. I didn't, you, the first thing you said was you needed that. No, that's what you need to do. You didn't put it in a petri dish. These are really you well bitch. Thought you want a beautiful look at the chemistry. And there are both physical Sorry, buddy. I know this is a good class. Guide you through the experiment. In -depth explanations Kyle, and the hey, quick kick in. Are accessible through the Mel's okay, chemistry mobile app. Talking to you guys, Dave. Website and VR chemistry lessons, which can be viewed using Paris Island. And I'm VR coming. Headset, which comes in the starter kit. Overall, it's a great way to have fun learning chemistry and inspire an interest in science. Use my link in the video description and the promo code Nighthawk for 25% off. In there, just in the barracks, right? Any Mel no, science no, 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 no. 